Hey guys, welcome back to Learning Curve Tech. So it's been a while since I've uploaded. Actually, I think it's been about a month, which is far too long to be honest. In this video, I wanna explain why I've been gone for so long and why I've been uploading so sporadically for really the last six to eight months. Now, when I started this channel, I was uploading basically every week and there was like one week where I had to skip the week because I had finals for school. However, I was fairly consistent and I kept it up throughout the summer of that year, which was actually last year. Then after January, things started kind of going downhill. Now, I think the main reason why things started dipping down every month, lower and lower, is just honestly my fault. I should have been and I really still should be uploading more consistently. Eventually it got to the point where when I went on a summer vacation I didn't upload for a whole month. Then once I got back I did a really short spurt of daily uploads for like three days and that was really difficult and I don't think I'm ever going to do daily uploads again but after that I really kind of didn't upload that much at all. And really since I painted my room as you can tell in my original videos the wall color was this tan color and so I painted it more of a uh, better color for YouTube and so when I actually painted that all the way back in March I stopped uploading for a few weeks and then I started uploading again but I think all those times where I stopped uploading first when I was doing the painting then when I took a summer vacation and now when I'm just really busy with school all of those times have made it easier and easier for me to justify not uploading every week. And honestly, this is something that I do not want to do. I know sometimes life can be really busy, but I don't want to ever justify not doing it if I actually have the time to do it. I want to try and upload consistently for you guys every week to provide you guys with valuable content, but honestly, sometimes having a full school schedule and just life in general it's very difficult to make videos every week. I'm also kind of struggling getting ideas and knowing what types of content would be best for you guys. So if you do have like any questions about really anything that you would like to see on this channel or any, or any sort of suggestions for stuff that you would like to see on this channel, then please feel free to let me know. Especially over the past month, I haven't really had a lot of ideas and the ideas that I did have, I haven't actually gone through with them. Unfortunately, I feel like I'm kind of at this point where I feel stuck with my channel, but at the same time, I'm going to keep going. But the end result is I am not uploading enough, and I do need to upload, even if I don't upload more often, just at least have a consistent upload schedule. Now, this isn't only to try and grow the channel, although I do definitely want that to happen. This is also to provide you guys with valuable content that comes out consistently, so then you guys know, hey, Learning Curve Tech is going to upload every, say, Monday. And every Monday you guys are going to look forward to those videos because you know they're going to be valuable. But I feel like if I don't upload every Monday and all of a sudden I just upload a really great video here and there, but they're never consistent, then you guys really can't trust me. And I definitely want you guys to be able to trust me. So I'm going to try my best. And even if I can't upload a lot of videos, at least upload consistently. Now, that's my main goal, but you guys may be wondering what happened to that little stop motion thing you were making. I actually made a post about it a few months ago and I said I was making a short little stop motion and it's actually still right over there kind of sitting there and I haven't touched it since. Um, I run into this problem a lot, honestly. I run into this with my stop motions, I run into this with my, with my videos. I sort of run out of ideas and then I just stop. And that's something I'm working on. I need to get better at that. I need to get better at completing projects, even if I feel stuck. Because I think it's really important to follow through with what, what you said you would do. So I want to do that to the best of my ability. Now, another thing I've been thinking a lot about is the kind of topics that you guys want to see on this channel. I know I've been doing stop motion, but believe it or not, this channel actually started out as a photography, um, cinematography, editing, stop motion channel. It's basically anything involving cameras and creative tech. Now, eventually I started posting more and more videos about stop motion. And I found those were the most popular with you guys. Now I do still like making stop motion tutorials, but one thing I have found with the stop motion niche is that it's a very narrow niche 
For example, with cameras, you have a new camera coming out pretty consistently. Maybe every few months you have a few new cameras. So that industry is constantly growing. Same with the smartphone industry, you know, the laptop industry, whatever industry, a lot of these industries in tech have consistent products coming out and there's always something new to review or to talk about. But with stop motion, there is literally nothing new that happens with stop motion. Occasionally I can talk about the next Dragon Frame software, but that's only every few years. And so it does become very difficult to keep coming up with new ideas, especially after I feel like I've covered content already. If there are still some stop motion topics that you would like me to cover, please do let me know. You can let me know in the comments and often I'll post a lot of polls on my community page. So if you want to go there, that's the place where you can find all the polls. My main point in talking about all this stuff with niches and stop motion versus other filmmaking is that you guys seem to love stop motion a lot. I also love stop motion a lot, but I feel like it is very narrow and niche and I also feel like I want to expand a little bit to other types of filmmaking and really what I want to do is just make the best videos possible and then show you guys how to kind of do that too. My goal is basically to teach you guys whatever I'm learning in my journey with stop motion or filmmaking. So since I'm learning not only about stop motion but filmmaking too, I think it would be a great idea if I could take you guys along for that journey as well. Now this could encompass a whole bunch of different things like audio or lighting or camera work, but you guys let me know what do you like the best and what other things do you want to see that I don't already do. You guys are really what make up this channel, so I do want to recognize you guys and ask you what you want to see on this channel. However, I also feel like there are some videos that I want to make, um, not necessarily that they'll be popular with you guys, but just some videos that I think would be interesting. Maybe some of you guys might like them. I have no idea. So do let me know if you just want to keep seeing stop motion and that's all, or if you don't mind me kind of moving into other genres of using tech creatively and filmmaking and storytelling because that's really what I want to do. I want to tell stories and I want to get better at my craft and while I'm getting better at my craft I want to bring you guys along with me. I think I've said all I need to say so thank you guys so much and bye.